Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I already started pulling cards, but I figured I would record this message because it got a little deeper than I expected. Um, okay. There's a situation here where somebody is coming to understand y'all's power. You're chosen basically here with this Hierophant. You, you hold the key. You're, you're holding the key. You've learned or mastered something here that I feel like many of you, it was hidden to you, but someone else is paying attention to it too because now you have the Seven of Wands. Whatever the situation is here with the Six of Cups, it's being protected. So something here is ending. Okay, there's an ending here. Um, with this Ten of Swords and the Moon card, there's an ending here. Something is completely over. Um, it's being hidden to you, but I feel like someone else is aware of exactly what's going on here. Judgment. Someone is going through judgment. Someone in your energy is going through judgment. There's a Queen of Pentacles and a Queen of Cups here in your energy, right? I feel like a lot of you could be holding the Queen of Pentacles energy, um, Earth signs, and then there could be a Water sign here as well. Whatever the clash was between y'all is, is over. Before I pull these crow cards, I um I typically do my own affirmations using, yeah, okay, we got judgment at the bottom here again. I typically use this deck, the new element um tarot deck here, to do my own affirmations. This deck I use basically um I I use it as my ancestral deck. So I went through those, but then the energy in that was like, there was something hidden in there, like a, a kind of a warning, but not necessarily because happiness came out, joy, it, everything was good in that message. But I, I wanted to pull these cards and as I'm pulling them, I'm seeing something completely different in the background here with the moon card. This is a warning, but not necessarily for y'all. I feel like y'all are okay. But in the background, there's someone else. Like, I, I think we're supposed to be having a full moon. I'm pretty sure. I, I don't really pay too much attention to. But anyways, I want to keep going here. Because we have seven of wands going into judgment for this ten of swords here. Like, there's an ending. Something is over. So, I feel like a lot of what this ending is for you, because you're chosen... It's you mastering whatever it is that you had to get through in order to go to where you're going. This Queen of Pentacles energy could very well be you standing in your power as a master, as a provider, as your own protector and shelter, going into something where you can feel more relaxed, feel more fulfilled, feel more um, of yourself have more passion here for something because you are you you're a master of it you'll be able to share it here with the sun card this speaks of happiness this is joy for you i just feel like someone else is going through something what's the moon card king of swords here someone is being cut out of something or um there could be a fight here mentally, or like a um, a mental struggle going on for someone because they don't they can't understand why something is happening for you. Yeah, the tower. I feel like somebody can't understand how it is that you're able to continue to stand in your power here with this tower fight. Going into the tower. The tower could also be for you guys that. It's been a long time coming, a long time coming with this Knight of Pentacles for you to get into the position that you're going towards. It's as if something is being ushered out so that you can be ushered in. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles. Something that you've been working towards is, is finally happening for you here because you've had a lot of patience and a lot of passion for it. And now it's yours. 
And it's like somebody in your energy or in the background can't seem to understand why it is that you've been able to hold it together for so long and continue on. Not that they were trying to block you or stop you because we see the protection that you have for you. You're chosen. Of course you got protection, but just because you're chosen doesn't mean there won't be things that you have to go through. You're going to always have to go through something. You're chosen, not privileged here. Two of Pentacles, the choices that you've made. You made good choices, which is what put you in this position. Somebody else can't seem to figure out here how it is that you've been able to go this far. It's because you've made good choices. You you chose your, everybody chose their path. You chose your path. So there's, there could be a Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, and a King of Swords um, in your energy here. What's this King of Swords? They have to give it up. Whatever it is, or even you, okay? could have been very much in your own mind, in your own head as to how, what is it that you need to do? It's walking away from what doesn't bring you the amount of happiness and sunshine or whatever it is that you need to stand in this energy, this Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles energy to where you can build for yourself, to where you can pass on. It's a lot of you are becoming teachers. So People are being ushered out of positions from world leaders to preschool teachers. Everybody's being affected by this energy. I feel like, it, isn't it like a new moon and and I would search it. Um, and like Gemini, that's what this energy could be. This is a time for walking away from things people, places, situations, because now you're, it's time for you to step into your power, the things that you've mastered. A lot of y'all are starting to recognize what your path is, starting to recognize what you were chosen for. Some of you are supposed to be speakers or teachers, um, world-renowned leaders at that, activists, um, politicians here, warriors with this five of swords i'm getting like army leadership and um first responders here seven of swords five to the seven of swords here a lot of you are like officers or um yeah with the two of wands First responders, um, whatever choice or something that you've made is it's finally pretty much coming into fruition for you. But let's get a little deeper here. I just okay, we got the Empress and the Three of Cups coming out here. The Empress typically stands alone. So for the Empress to come out with the Three of Cups, it's like there are people who are watching you, who are trying to follow suit, who are pretty much watched you go through the things that you went through. And instead of helping you, they're at awe at the fact that you were able to come up out of it or that the fact that you were able to stand strong in it here. And it's because you have control over your own mind. There's nothing or no one that can control your mind. We saw the seven of wands here. You are the master and controller of your own emotions. Seven of wands, six of pentacles. You get back what you put out. It doesn't matter what you go through. You understand that if you remain in a positive energy, if you remain in this... Um, state of mind where you understand that there are things that you just have to go through you get through them and then you get to where you're being led to go that's how you get that that's how it works it comes right back to you somebody else in the background needs to understand how karma works you get back what you put out each and every time yeah the magician here 
So if somebody was in your energy waiting on you to fail, nine times out of 10, the time that they spent waiting on you to fail is the time that it took for whatever they had going on to, to fall apart. And as something in the background is falling apart here with this judgment and the 10 of swords, something for you is coming together here. Nine of Pentacles, I mean, nine of Pentacles, six of Pentacles. So somebody else is exposing themselves as you're just doing what you're being called to do. So somebody could have forgot the mission or something or a reason as to why they've been in the position that they're in. Um, and instead of maintaining that, they allowed the world around them to change their thoughts, to change the way that with this magician here, to change the way that the, they've operated. Okay, so I'm getting a, a visual of somebody like stepping down or... Um, refusing some type of offer here or going towards another offer because it seemed better than the position that they're in and you're about to take that position you're going into the position of the person who forgot why they started so that you can continue on in a facet where your mindset is sort of where their mindset used to be so if somebody is like um, a leader of a program and the reason they started this program was to help the community and now the program has become something that is more about the money than the community, well, now this person is being ushered into something that is more about the money, you know, rather than com the community because that's what they've set their mind on, their intentions on. They're not going to very much get too much out of it because, I mean, what does it profit a man to gain the world and lose his soul, right? Everything is about money. That's what you're going to go towards if that's what you care about. Now, however, y'all being chosen for certain things, you're going to take the position of this person who's so focused on money. This is just hypothetically speaking, who's so focused on money. And now you're taking the position to be able to focus on what it is that your community needs. Because that's what's being, that's how you balance these scales here. So your lesson in this and watching this other person pretty much self-sabotage because they're so focused on the money is to make sure you continue in a route where you remember why it is that you were chosen to do something or be a part of something. Not to allow the world around you to, um, not to conform to the world around you, but to stay in a mind and a space in your with your own self to be able to continue on your mission on your route so that you won't get ushered into something that yeah justice here and don't get ushered into something that is going to call for you to have to conform to something that is well outside of your own morals and boundaries now we have a queen of pentacles here again you're you're rooted grounded steadfast Somebody else around you just can't understand how it is that you don't see what it is that they see. Your mind doesn't operate the same as theirs. They see it as like a privilege and you are seeing it as you're chosen, but you have to go through certain things in order to understand certain things in order to make sure that you have a strong mindset to be able to stand on your own have your own opinions and not allow people to come around you and then conform into their thoughts and opinions because that's what the majority wants seven of cups here don't allow anybody to come into your energy and try to confuse you and make you think that something is better um, for you than what your intentions are already set on because that's what's happening to someone else that's the reason they've been ushered out here and you're being pulled in because somebody has to replace that person like everybody has a mission here it's all spiritual and it's all energy, but it has to be balanced meaning there has to be someone who thought like the person that was more of an asset, you know, now that they're gone. And that's what was building within you. 
you a lot of y'all couldn't really understand what was going on with you but now that you're coming out of this four swords energy where you're just having to um meditate on it pray on it sleep on it whatever you're coming out of that and understanding here what it is that you're supposed to be a part of what it is that you're being you're um controlling what it is that you're being prepared for And I'm sort of going over time here, so I'm going to stop and leave it there. But don't ever forget why y'all started, okay? And don't force the issue. Love y'all. Have a good day.